Hello and welcome to the Pin Man, dude. All right, today we're going to be looking at the Hongdeon N23. This is really a, a nice, nice pin. It's a unique, uh, you know, of course, the body style is not, not real unique, but the the uh, decor uh, is pretty unique there, I think. So uh, this pin retails for around $39. I uh, got it off of eBay. It comes in four different colors, has this deep red, has, uh, comes in black, blue, and white. And it has the same rabbit uh, theme on it so if you're if you're into rabbits well this is a good pen for you if you're not necessarily into rabbits it really doesn't matter because the rabbit aspect doesn't really stand out unless you're looking for it, it just kind of looks like plants as you look at the pen it's a basic cigar shape and um, has a nice gold clip here move in not too stiff not too loose has kind of the ball in there so it'll slip over your uh, short pocket or other uh, item that you want to clip it onto should be very easily in your pants whatnot i really like the deep red on this one i, I was kind of torn because the black the black and gold looks good uh, the blue would have been interesting but uh didn't quite throw me i'll put a picture up there uh, somewhere uh, of all the colors and then then the white i'm not really into white pens so uh, i had to go with the uh, the red and one of these days i may get a may get a black but yeah who knows open it up and on the cap you have this nice gold trim there i i really like that it, it's not gaudy it's just a nice way to uh, finish off the end of the cap inside you have uh, your plastic threads again on the cap or on the clip there is no decorations on that so it's just pretty clean uh, plain but it's nice little shape there Kind of like a long teardrop going the other way. Okay, the body. Uh, again, the grip section is um, a nice, comfortable uh, size. And then the threads are not sharp at all. So you don't even, you know, hardly notice them as you're holding them. The grip section flares out a little bit toward the end there, and you also have that gold trim around that. Very nice. You see the basic uh, plastic feed. And On the nib, you see the uh, rabbit, and then inside the rabbit it says 1997, and then below that it looks like uh, some sort of uh, Chinese uh, letter characters and then an M. I'm assuming that means for uh, medium medium uh, nib. This nib is actually what's called, uh, I think they called it a blade, but it's more like what's uh, known as a long knife. And uh, I'll talk about that during the writing demonstration. Okay, alrighty, then you open it up to reveal a standard international cartridge around that band there. It just says Hong Dion, and uh, this uh, part of the uh, grip section is metal, so you're going to have uh, metal, and then on the inside, they put some metal threads so you got metal on metal there uh, so that should not uh, wear out anytime too fast you also have a 
a little rubber o-ring which makes closing the pin a little more snug just just a tad all right the materials of the pin are resin as you can imagine i, I like that sound there's just something about that Let's see if i can just kind of a I don't know, hollowy in there, weird. Anyway, I like the sound. The appointments are all 24 karat gold plated. Then, as you can see on the on the end, it's a, just got that gold right there, and then it's a larger gold band around the side there, or the top of it. As far as the cap, uh, how many rotations? It is nicely only one and about a quarter. So that's nice. If you like a quick on and off there. It is postable, but I wouldn't recommend it simply because of the artwork on there. Uh, but you can, you can post it. Uh, the threads inside the cap are plastic and they may have made them plastic instead of metal so that you could post it. It's not really, it's not too back-weighted. You, you, it's, it's a little bit back-weighted, but not too bad. All right, so, but like I said, for the artwork, I don't know that I would necessarily uh, be posting it. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a close-up and get some light in here so you can see what they did. This is not Machia or whatever, you know, the, like the Japanese uh, paintings and all that. It's almost like they took and f with a very fine router or whatever, kind of routed the, or maybe laser engraved um, this, because there, there is some texture to that, but it's like the gold is almost filling in some uh, dips. Uh, I guess is how I can best explain it. And, uh, but it's, it doesn't feel cheap. There's, there's no lines as far as I can tell, no lines for the um, injection molding. So that's nice as well. The uh, body length is 125 millimeters from uh, nib tip to the finial. The when it's capped, it's 141 inches, and then I didn't get the measurement for posted, but it's it's rather long. The girth of the body is 13 millimeters, so I think that's a uh, pretty nice. The grip length from the end of the threads to the uh, bottom, the base there of the, of the nib. That's uh, about 20 millimeters. And then the girth of the grip is 11 millimeters, right about center point there. So I, you know, this, this feels really good in your hand. So uh, if, you, if you like a, a pin on the larger side, without being too big like the, uh, the Jin Hao uh, X159 or 159, something like that. If you don't like it that big, but you don't like it real thin either, this is a good uh, medium. So the weight is the body is 21 grams and overall it is 36 grams. Um, okay, so let's, uh, see some size comparisons and then writing sample and I'll go over some pros and cons uh, with this pen. Here you have the pens posted. This is the Hong Dian N23 next to a Twisby Diamond 580 and then the Pilot Custom 823 and then the Waterman Karen. And here they are uncapped. Here they are posted. 
And as is typical of Twisby's, the uh, 580, Diamond 580 is posted is ridiculously long. <laughs> the N23 and the 823 uh, are pretty, pretty comparable as far as their uh, sizes. This would not be a, a copy though. Uh, the filling system and just everything else. It's not a copy, but it's very similar size. So if you, if you um, have a, an 823, uh, this will be pretty close. Now the 823's nib is a little bit bigger, as you can see there. And then there's the Waterman. As for a writing sample, you have, we have the Hongdian N23. And again, this is a, what I call long, long knife. nib so we're going to go ahead and also call it a medium but I'll explain the long knife here in a second the ink is diamine red dragon right wall no hard starts, no skips. It is smooth. As you can see, there's a little difference there. Um, you really don't want to try to do line variation because there's line variation uh, built into this nib. So I wouldn't try it there. But there you go for the wetness there. Smudge a little bit, not too bad. Reverse writing. Um, I would call that a extra fine, but it is it. It's pretty smooth. It's not uh, scratchy at all. So yeah, I like that. Okay, now with this blade or with the um, long knife. One reviewer uh, described this, this type of nib. If you were looking at it head on like this, like that, okay. A blade would be kind of like this and it's a kind of a reverse stub. It's wider on your strokes and thinner on your down, on, wider on your horizontal strokes, thinner on your down strokes, which this one is too, but it's a little bit different. It's kind of a pear shape, goes up like that. And the reason why they do that is if you increase your angle, it writes a little bit thinner. Decrease your angle and it writes a little bit thicker. So now the, again, your horizontal strokes are wider vertical strokes are thinner. So that's your long knife. Now, I call it a medium because basically that's, as you're just, as I'm just writing, I should say, it functions as a medium. So if you're looking for a medium, that'd be good. They have extra fine and fine, and then these uh, long knives, sometimes it's a blade, but. Uh, so I, All right, as far as pros and cons, uh, this uh, pin, I think the the nib is fantastic. It just 
it writes and writes and writes. It's smooth. There's no skips, no hard starts. It's got a neat kind of decor on, on the nib, but you know, we want it to write. And uh, this performs very well. At least the, the long knife, blade, uh, long knife, they call it a blade uh, tip is, uh, I, I think it's, it's excellent. It gives you a little bit of variety if, if you like that. And, um, but yeah, this is, this is a smooth, smooth nib. I like the way the, the pen feels in the hand. The uh, resin is a nice feeling resin. There's no, this does not feel like a cheap pen. And the grip section is a nice width, not too large, not too thin. The threads on there are hardly noticeable. It's got the little flare on the end if you're afraid of going down too far. Uh, but it just, in the hand, it just works. The artwork on the pen is neat. I, I think it's fancy enough. Uh, while there is some texture that you feel, it isn't uh, bothersome. It doesn't irritate me as I'm writing with it. Uh, you can post it if you like. I don't recommend it, but it is postable. As far as cons, you know what? I have none. I tried to think of something about this pen that I wish they would improve on or could improve on. And honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't think of anything. So, uh, okay. What do we get? You know it. It's just hard start there because I had it out. A little bit. I'll give this smiley. I really like, I really like this pen and I would recommend it. All right. Thanks for watching and have a great day.